Now we're told that the lamina is now freely suspended from this point D and it hangs in equilibrium. And we've got to find the angle between DC and the vertical through D. So how do we do problems like this? Well, you should know that if you hang any lamina from a given point, the center of mass, which we found in the previous part, was a distance of 4 ninths root 3 meters from this edge AB. The center of mass always aligns itself underneath the point where you are hanging it from. Look, I'll show you. Now if we take our lambda ABCD and draw a line from the point where we're suspending it to the center of mass and imagine that we stick a pin in here and then release it. This is what happens. So hopefully you can see now that the angle between DC, C being this point here, and the vertical through D is in fact this angle here. Let's call it theta. So on this diagram over here what we've got is if we were to draw a line back to the center of mass that angle that we're looking for is here. So with practice you don't have to draw this kind of thing. You should be able to just see it by just drawing your line to the center of mass. Now to work this angle out we can consider this right angle triangle through here. What we know is that this distance is one meter. Okay, let's just put that in. And we know this distance because the distance between the two parallel sides, AB and DC, we found out in the previous part was root three meters. So this distance has got to be root 3 minus 4 ninths root 3. So that's going to leave us with 5 ninths root 3 meters. So if we do the tan of angle theta, it's going to compare the opposite side over the adjacent. So that's where we start then. We just say that tan of the angle theta equals the opposite over the adjacent, which OK, we're going to be dividing by 1, so it's just going to leave us with 5 ninths root 3. And so to get theta, all I've got to do then is do the inverse tan of 5 ninths root 3. And if you do that on your calculator, make sure you're in degrees mode, say. So that's going to give you 43.897 and so on degrees. And if we round that to say three significant figures, it's going to be 43.9 degrees to 3 SF. Okay, so I hope that's given you an idea then what's going on. And that brings us now to the end of this question.